So welcome back to the house of Ajay and uh, let me make sure my microphone is on first to make sure I can be heard. Okay. And I ain't just making a silent ass video. Okay. The mic is unmuted. Okay. So, <clears throat> so what you're looking at is my honey jar that I'm getting ready to fill um, in the bottom of it. I already have a petition here for my client. Um, I won't say what the honey jar is for. Um, and right here we have the uh, purple fairy dust that I'm going to use um, and some other stuff. So first of all, I just, so I have the camera focused so you can see the jar, okay? So I added the petition first, okay? So that, <clears throat> you know, my client's anonymity can be protected, okay? Um, so I have here a bag of colored daisies i don't know can i push this up a little bit so you can see what i'm doing i guess this is about the best view you're going to get in the jar okay so these are the daisies if y'all can see them i'll put them in like a little mesh bag i dried them out and so these are like daisy um colored like daisy petals okay that i'm adding to the jar for the flower essence okay this is a jar, uh, of course, most all honey jars are for, you know, a positive, to have a positive outcome in certain situations, okay? And so, these beautiful, and they're very fragrant as well, these beautiful multicolored uh, daisy flowers help me add color magic to the situation, okay? But I'm also going to add, y'all know my favorite flowers to add are hibiscus. Okay, so I'm adding hibiscus and some rose petals as well. Okay. Now this is my bottle of fairy dust. I do add all of my dry ingredients before. Okay, this is the little fairy dust wand that I use to add any anytime i use my fairy dust to add it to um anything okay so most of my honey jars do contain fairy dust so this little um this is like a little scoop the wand is so you can get just the right amount and off into the jar it goes I will also probably add fairy dust on top of the jar, but I want it to be inside of the honey when I pour the honey in there. So that's why I put it in a little bit in beforehand as well. Okay. I also have another special ingredient. Okay. And this is for the specific purpose of the jar, um, just to make something go well. Okay. I will say this is not a love working okay um oh let me go get my benzoin gum because i forgot i meant to add that in here too and i always forget it and some lavender um petals just a minute Okay, so I had to go get my lavender flowers. Okay, so these are my lavender petals. Maybe if I move it back, yeah, you can see it a little more. So we're gonna add lavender in there. Oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, and I'm gonna use my fairy dust wand. Actually, no, they're telling me to use my hands for this benzoin. Gum. Now, a lot of people sleep on benzoin. It's good for prosperity, protection, and a lot of other things. If you're interested, look it up. It's very powerful. Okay. So we added the things that we wanted to add to the honey jar. Several flower essences, fairy dust, 
um, another um, ingredient that I won't speak of because it's my own special uh, recipe. And um, and so now uh, I am going to add a more. Uh, I'm going to add a stone into the jar, which is, of course, a rose. Again, this is not a love working, but this situation does need love okay and uh and so it's not really specifically for love that i'm dropping that heart in there it's just so that there is like a compassion um brought into the situation and that it is handled in a loving way okay so right now it's time to fill the jar did i put enough i want to make sure because see my honey jars they come out so because of the dark color of these hibiscus flower petals that I put in there. So I'm just going to add a few more and a few more roses, okay, just to make sure that because what I do is I work these jars in, under the sun and the moonlight. And so, you know, once they, they're in the sun and it starts mixing, the honey starts to mix with the flower essences, then it turns this beautiful crimson color that's when I know that my work is beginning to manifest, okay? And so, um, you know, we all have our own ways of doing things. So once we have every all the dry ingredients, we have our petition, some people add a picture, um, you, you, you know, you add what's necessary in order to bring about the outcome that you're trying to bring. And we make honey jars for all sorts of reasons. My client knows uh, he, you know, my client knows what this is for. And so this video is really for him. Okay. But I would, I just wanted to show you guys the simple construction of, you know, how to make a honey jar. Now, once you fill this honey jar, I do say my incantations, uh, over the jar before I seal it. Okay. But you guys will not see that part of it so basically you're going to see me fill this jar i may come back and um do another part of it oh okay so i am able to go ahead and seal the jar okay here because it's not going to really make a difference i just like to do mine before i seal it they said i can go ahead and seal the jar okay so that you guys can basically just see how it's done okay so Make sure you seal it very tight, okay, so that you can turn it upside down and move it around um, and so that you can, like, start to get those ingredients mixing around in there. The thing I love about honey jars is how beautiful they are. Uh, if you're, you know, if you're creating them right, if you're working with the right intentions and I got the sunlight coming through the window already, ready to charge up this golden amber elixir that i created okay uh so let me get my honey my um fairy dust out of the way so y'all can see this let me see if i can focus this up a little more okay so this is the this is all of the ingredients mixing with this honey and of course we know that the intention of the honey jar is to sweeten um a certain situation so right now Again, this is not a, any sort of love working right here. This is um, something else, okay? And it feels amazing, the energy of it. Um, so I think my client will be pleased with the outcome, okay? Because uh, we're giving ourselves plenty of time for this jar to work, okay? Um, we do have a deadline um, that, uh, you know, we're trying to meet as far as the effectiveness of this jar. And so um, the jar has been created and now we will begin to work the jar. So I will be burning candles on top of the jar, but most importantly, I will be um, working this like in the sun, allowing it to absorb the energy from the sun and also in the moonlight. Uh, my client may get updates on this, but I don't need to show you guys any more of it. Y'all know how I seal jars, 
um, as far as, you know, with the candle wax around the edge, just to, you know, to give it an energetic seal as well. Um, some people just burn a candle on top of the jar. Okay. But I wanted to show y'all how beautiful these are. Um, now I may come back in a day or two after I have worked this in the sun and moonlight so that you guys can see how beautiful, uh, and, and like, it's the it's gonna go from this golden amber color because of the hibiscus, okay, which I love, y'all know, uh, and maybe because of some of those colored daisies, the the multicolored daisy uh, petals that I added in there as well. This is gonna change to a beautiful, uh, like like I said, crimson color. So it'll be a beautiful, sparkly, translucent crimson color. Uh, but right now it's a beautiful amber color okay and it's already beginning to do its thing because i got it like that okay <laughs> so yeah i just wanted to show you guys a simple honey jar again the reason that we create honey jars is to get a favorable outcome in a situation uh to sweeten the attitudes of the you know the person uh, or or a certain person's attitude towards us uh we do it for a lot of reasons you know but it's basically to get a favorable outcome and to sweeten um a situation okay um not literal sweet like as with sugar but the principle is using something as sweet as honey okay to uh like i said add that that compassion i i use the honey and i use the rose quartz crystals to add like i said this brings compassion into the situation which is what we need understanding um uh, and and because you know if I could explain what the case was, um, I just need like for a certain particular person um, to see it a certain way. OK. And to make a certain judgment on it. And, you know, we'll, we'll do it like that. And so that's what the petition is for. And then the ingredients you add, whichever ingredients that you need in order to bring that about. And it's going to be different for every jar. OK. But this one is um, I knew it was going to turn out beautiful because of the flower essences. You know, I always add fairy dust and sparkles, you know, sparkly things to my jar because I love sparkly things, okay, as everyone knows, <laughs> and I love the color amber, um, the color of honey, okay, it's beautiful, it's like liquid sunshine, okay, and I do very well, my, my uh, honey jars work extremely well because they are one of my specialties okay so i just wanted to share that short uh you know little snippet with y'all to show you how you construct your honey jar but it's not just about putting things in a jar and mixing it up it's about what is your intention what was the intention of every ingredient that was put in here why was it added uh make sure that we're holding those intentions as we are creating the jar as we're you know as we're holding it as we're working it when we burn the candles on it and honey jars do work OK, um, they they may not work as fast as um, some other things, but I do know that because I work mine in the sunlight and in the, under the moon um, that it does speed them up. OK, um, but with this particular case that I'm doing, we have given ourselves more than enough time for this to work. And so um, I will be working this jar um, over time. OK, so I did just want to share that with you guys and show you how beautiful they are when they start out. And I believe that it's already beginning to change color. You know, I love the beautiful amber color of honey in its natural state, of course. And then, you know, but this is going to change. It's going to be more reddish. OK, it's still going to be beautiful and sparkly. But this is the beginning of it. And it is a beautiful jar, um, has a beautiful energy. I do know that this is going to give us the outcome that we um you know that that we desire so uh i did want to stop and share this with you guys because i do still do um you know ritual work for some of my clients i will be changing um some of the things in my business model um and some of the work and the 
some of the um, products and services that I do off offer. I have slowly been making changes and I am going to continue to do so until, you know, uh, you know, I, I may not stop making changes. Uh, you know, change is good. Uh, and so, you know, just to give, you know, you guys some variety, some variations, um, certain workings I will no longer be offering. And then I'm going to be offering um, some different workings. OK. And so just keep an eye out on the badass magic shop. But, but, but this one one is a honey jar. Uh, you can purchase one of these in the Badass Magic Shop. Again, these are all um, made for individual and specific purposes okay and so this my client who i made this jar for he knows exactly what this is for and i just wanted to make him this video so that he knows that um we have started and that um it is on and popping and i got you babe okay so until we meet again my people keep it classy keep it clean and do what you got to do to make positive things happen okay peace